KDM Constructors was formed a few years ago and they already have more than 70 workers at industrial sites across the province. It's a unique arrangement. A company called Southeast Construction partnered with the Coahuacatus, Daystar and Muscaugan First Nations. But instead of token sponsorships or a one-time payment, the First Nations will own 60% of the new company. Southeast Construction accepted a minority stake of just 40%. One official said they were all inspired to do something more meaningful after reading the Truth and Reconciliation Commission's calls to action. Why it's different than the other arrangements in the province is that it's a true uh, company building capacity through opportunity. We aren't interested in, in just filling the construction slots with, with First Nations people. It's about providing opportunity to people that have barriers. The chief of one of the First Nations says he's partnered with a lot of companies over the years, but was really impressed with Silver Nagel's commitment to make real change. And we started to have these kind of talks and not just uh, sharing profits or not just sharing, but actually form a, a, a legitimate First Nation controlled company. Uh, and then to start to say, okay, how can we approach this together? So there's a lot of alignment and a lot of good, right, to come from that. The company is building a new wellness centre at Muscaugan and recently gave a $1 million payment to the three First Nations. Both Silvernagel and Belrose say they expect continued growth in the years to come. They say that if these partnerships are done right, they can be good for everyone. Jason Warwick, CBC News, Saskatoon.